Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our last stream team chat of May. Um, we are so happy you guys are here tonight. We are um, diving into yet another topic that we just kind of gathered some thoughts and some things this month that we thought would be good um, gold nuggets to take with you into summer and um, that we think that would really like help your business continue to grow and continue to thrive um, and for you to continue to be your best Sensi consultant self. And so tonight we landed on a topic um, that we think that most people here have a good grasp on, but again, it's something that we do want to remind just the broader uh, team here that the catalog, focusing on the catalog is where you're going to find a lot of success, if not majority of your success, okay? Um, this was like a big deal, a big deal topic right when we came out of COVID because during 2020 and 2021, we had a lot of um, limited time only offers and um, our businesses really thrived on it. But also what happened is a lot of the people who joined during COVID and joined in that year and a half to two year period, um, really thought that the LTOs was their best way to get active, promote, um, and go far in this business. But the reality of it is, is while the LTOs are really great for things like networking, growing your business, talking to new customers, and being the icing on the cake, it's actually not what this business should be built on. We should be focusing on our catalog um, because we get a whole beautiful book of new things and new scents and new warmers and all the new stuff two times a year. We have two catalog seasons every single year and that catalog is filled with pretty much money. Like <laughs> it is filled with money in terms of what you could be talking about and selling to the people around you, to your customers, to new people, um, all those things. So tonight we're kind of just going to hit on some topics or some subtopics within this idea of focusing on the catalog, specifically through summer and through the rest of the year, right? Even as we go into the fall and winter season and we get excited about what's in that catalog, but then we also have harvest on the heels and then holiday comes around. All of that stuff tends to get really exciting, but those things are LTOs, right? And we still have a really amazing catalog to fall back onto. So um, I know some... Uh, for me personally, just off the top of my head, like today, I literally was like in a slump of like what to post about because I had shared about the Inside Out collection and I was like super excited about it. I had cute content, but once that was posted, I was like, what do I talk about? And I literally was like, oh my gosh, like we have an entire catalog. I should not wonder or have to think about what to talk about. I, I have a catalog that I could literally just open and any mini miny mo a product and talk about it and get my customers excited about it and have content for literally months based off of our catalog, okay? And so we wanna encourage you guys to do the same and we're gonna just give you some tips on how to, but first I do want to just make sure that you guys know that on the page during the 30 minute warning today, I did post a um, like a checklist that somebody else had created, that's not my work, um, but somebody else created it. It's a really great checklist that you could print out and you could um, come up with a, with a content calendar um, where you can intentionally focus on all the different catalog, all the different products that we have in the catalog. Okay, um, and we're going to kind of touch on that a little bit too here in just a minute. But um, the first like subtopic that I really want to like shine a light on, and I've already kind of been talking about it, is there's always something to share um, using the catalog. There's always something to go back to. Okay, so like on days today where you're like my brain was like totally um, it was like buffering and I was not having any good thoughts in my head about content. Um, I should have opened the catalog and just thought to myself, what haven't I shared in a while? Or what's one thing that I really love in here? Or literally just turn to a page and been like, I'm going to share what's on page 22 right? And talk about the things that are on that page. And you can do that, right? You can kind of have some fun with it. Maybe you have like a little spinny wheel that you want to do and you say, okay, I'm going to share whatever's on this page tomorrow, right? And then you go around, take pictures of it. Um, but the reality of it is, is that there is always something to share. And so if you are in a slump, if you're not sure what to share, if you are um, if you're just not motivated, the catalog is a really great place to just fall back on, right? Um, and so 
always having something to share using the catalog is why we have the catalog in terms of um, creativity and in terms of our business, right? Because that is what Sensi has prepared for. They have created um, warehouses full of these products, you know, and, and they are encouraging us to utilize our time and utilize our resources to be able to share these products. And they do that also, by featuring on the um, weekly roundup, they feature a lot of catalog products there, which you can then use for real life photos. Um, and they also post about it in their stories. And then they talk about it on their Tuesday trainings. Like they are focusing on the catalog and giving us content to then turn into our own and utilize for our own business. Okay. Um, the second part of the subtopic is one of my favorite things that me and Alex both do. Um, and again, we fall back to a lot, which is using theme days to be to have an intentional focus. And so, again, you can utilize that list and um, make theme days, make your own little content calendar if you need to and make it pretty broad or general so that you can use it every single month, um, which is kind of what we do. And so if you are a fast note taker here or if somebody wants to type it in the comments, um, me and Alex utilize um, theme days every single day with our business. OK, so Monday is must have Mondays. Um, or sometimes if we're having like a Disney launch, we'll do magic Monday, um, because you know, Disney's magical. Um, but must have Monday is one of them. Tuesday is tip Tuesday. And so we love to share tips and that can range from, you know, don't forget to stock up on your content cleanups, or don't forget to change out light bulbs or order more light bulbs for me to, um, did you know that you can mix and match your wax or, um, you know, uh, if you join Sensi this month, you get 15 free bars. Okay. It, your tips can add whatever value that you want. You can assign whatever value you want to them, but it's just a tip and you can do one tip or you can do a bunch of them. Right. Um, Wednesday is wax Wednesday, right? So it's a perfect midweek reminder to your customers to change their wax. Um, we also do warmer Wednesday specifically, like when new warmers are coming out, or if there's a bunch of warmers that we want to focus on, um, or a new warmer that has just launched, we'll do warmer Wednesday. Um, also with box, with box Wednesday is another great one. Okay. Um, and I always like to throw that in there as well. And sometimes I'll even do like different, like me and Alex both do this where we'll do on one Wednesday, we'll do wax, hashtag wax Wednesday. And then we'll do a picture of a warmer and do hashtag warmer Wednesday. And then we'll do a picture of the whip box and do hashtag whip box Wednesday. So you don't have to just solely focus on that one theme that day. You can kind of mix and match it because it all goes together, right? It's all, it's all sensey. Um, Thursday is thrifty Thursday. Okay. So, um, Thrifty Thursday is obviously really easy because we have a clearance section full of discounted products, okay? Um, but we also have the bundle deals, right, that you can highlight. Um, you also have um, sales that come up. Um, you also have Sensi Club that you could talk about on how to save money. You also have um, the join opportunity where people can save money, right, and make money back. So there are lots of ways that you can talk about being thrifty with Sensi. Um, also, I like to do Thankful Thursday sometimes. I throw that one in there occasionally. And I'll talk about why I'm thankful for my business, right? And it's kind of more of like a invite to a join conversation. But I'll talk about the ways that Sensi has blessed my life um, and blessed my family and blessed my business, you know, all those things. So Thankful Thursday is really great. Um, and then Friday is Favorite Friday. Um, and so that that's when I like to highlight my favorite items that I've been using, right? So as I'm going through the week and taking pictures of this and that and whatever, I'll keep some of those pictures behind so that I can use them on Friday to be able to share my favorite things that I've been using this week, okay? Um, love favorite Friday. And then Saturday is showcase Saturday. So this is really great because typically we find out new products that are launching on Thursdays, right? So then on Friday or on Saturday, we can... I, me and Alex both like to do this where we showcase what's coming on Saturday. We spend that entire day showcasing something that's coming new. Okay. So showcase Saturday is, um, one that I like to do. I also like to do selling Saturday or selling Sunday, um, where I will talk about the benefits of being a consultant. Right. And so the discount, um, the commission, the community, 
trips, the, you know, being home with my family, like all of those things. Um, and then Sunday is Sensi Club Sunday. And that pretty much sticks to it 99% of the time, unless I do a selling Sunday. Um, but Sensi Club Sunday is highlighting all of the Sensi Club perks, right? And so I'll screenshot a, a few different um, Sensi Clubs that my customers have processed that month. And I will share them on my VIP group with paired with a real life picture of something that's in their club, um, like a brick or the whiff box or a bunch of bars that are discontinued. And I will talk about how they're utilizing the perks of Sensi Club by getting this at a discount or getting these bars or these bricks or whatever. Um, and so I really love to hone in on Sensi Club and spend a whole day dedicated to that program, right? Um, but again, the whole reason I'm talking about theme days is just to have an intentional focus. So if that feels like too much work for you, if you're like, nope, I'm already out overload, um, that's okay. That's okay. It might not be for you. That's not for everybody. Um, but that just helps me and Alex specifically go back to the catalog and go back to that intentional focus on the bread and butter of our business, which should be what Sensi has given us um, in those six months to sell these specific products in this book. Okay. So Alex is going to carry us the rest of the way through with the rest of your subtopics. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> Okay, so love all this because I truly do believe that the catalog is the bread and butter and the foundational pieces of our business, right? And everything else like LTOs and fun collections, those are all the icing and the cherry on top. And so I think it's important as business owners that we really do hone in and focus on the catalog that Sensi gives us. We get two new catalogs a year. That's two opportunities to showcase a whole bunch of new and seasonally appropriate products for our customers. And they're very on trend. Um, our catalogs have been so good lately. And so I think a lot of times we get excited with LTOs and LTOs can be a nice little boost of PRV um, because it is limited, right? And that's good and great. But I think that it's really important that we're not only working our business when we have LTOs um, or not only focusing on limited time offers. And so love this um, topic to like kind of circle back to this amazing catalog and um, I want to share some different ways that we can share it to be successful, but I just want to actually back up a little bit. Bree was talking about themed days, and that's absolutely a really great way that I share every day of the week different items in our catalog. But I want to even take it further, and I was just thinking this and she was chatting that we can also even theme um like we can curate our own themes using the catalog, right? So like yesterday was Memorial Day, 4th of July is coming up and there are catalog products that you can curate, red, white, and blue bundles, right? The patriotic warmers, um, things like that. So utilizing our catalog to kind of create those bundles that sell really well because it takes the guesswork out of it, right? You could do like a flower power bundle with a fragrance flower and three floral bars, right? Or a mini warmer and some floral bars or all floral type um, wax bars, right? Same with like bakery lover with the coffee warmer and some wax bars. You can really highlight different themes using the catalog products. And I think that's important, especially with like holidays, um, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, those give us a perfect opportunity to do so. Um, and I think that we as Cincy Consultants curate things really, really well. And so being able to use the catalog to literally just like flip through it and see like, okay, well, how can I curate something to then advertise with it? And so um, even just another level of theming your content, um, you can even like curate specific themes in the catalog. So um, just wanted to mention that too, just because like, I feel like Sensi consultants are a creative bunch of people. And so it's a really awesome opportunity to be able to create those types of bundles as well. Um, okay. Also, I just want to encourage you guys as we are um, putting a focus on the catalog, um, and wanting to be more intentional about that to use real life pictures as much as possible. Um, I feel like with the LTOs, oftentimes we don't have real life pictures right from the jump, right? Since you will announce it on the news tab, we get the amazing and great 
marketing images. And then a week or two later, we'll find those real life pictures. Um, that's cool. But the cool thing with the catalog is that a Sensi consultant somewhere has ordered the product you're wanting to highlight. So whether or not you have the, the product that you're wanting to showcase, some other Sensi consultant has taken a picture and it is on the internet somewhere. So um, where I have the best luck finding specific um, items that I'm looking for is Pinterest. So I just type the name of it in the Pinterest search bar and you can sift through. A lot of them are marketing or flyers, but you'll sift through and you'll find those real life images. If that doesn't work, I go to the Facebook search bar and search the same thing. Okay. The name of the product and then put Scentsy at the end of it. And you will likely find a real life picture or two or a bunch of these products that you're looking for. And so my encouragement is to always, always, always like 100% of the time, share real life pictures. I don't think that there's any reason that we need to be sharing flyers, which is pictures with words on it, unless it's like in your Instagram stories or printed for your customers to have with their orders. I don't think that we should be marketing with flyers. Now, that's just my opinion. Everyone works their business differently, but I'm telling you, um, if you look at a marketing effort with a flyer versus the same message but with a real life picture you will see the engagement and excitement is much stronger with those real life pictures it really is just a way to share this lifestyle brand that is sensi right people don't want to be sold to all the time they want to um feel emotions or find solutions for um the products that we have and so then that's my next tip for you guys is to make sure that you are um, sharing value or solutions when you're marketing these things. Okay. Sometimes value is that it looks really pretty and it makes you happy. Okay. So we don't have to get super deep here where it's like, Oh, this warmer prevents forest fires, you know, like, okay, cool. You absolutely can talk about how safe our warmers are. They can be left on 24 seven. They're beautiful. You don't have to worry about them burning skin. Okay. All that's good and great. And, and occasionally absolutely share that, but value can also be that, when I walk in my home and I see the glow of this warmer, it totally makes me feel at peace. It's my favorite warmer ever. It's so relaxing and beautiful. That is valuable too, because it's hitting that emotional side of people. Okay. And then they're able to start envisioning what that would look like for them as well. Okay. Um, and then share solutions, right? So that'd be a great time to say, you know, I go on vacation and I leave my warmers on or um, it feels really good having young kids and not having to worry about an open flame in my home to get fragrance, right? I love that these waxes are non-toxic, right? That is sharing solutions. Same with, you know, the car bar makes my car not smell like French fries. That is a solution as well, okay? To take it further, a solution is also, I'm closing an order on Monday. Let me know if I can snag you something, Okay. A solution is also in follow-up when you're messaging them like, Hey, did you see this new warmer? I think it would match your living room perfectly. Right. So like, just look for different ways that you can share with a heart behind it, instead of just trying to sell stuff, no one just wants to be sold to all the time. So if you're doing things like flyers, um, or just saying like, um, you know, Vino warmer, $60, click here to order. Like that is not attractive. And we actually have to be very in tune with our attraction marketing because that is what sells Sensi. That is what gets our customers hooked. Um, and so just a reminder to be using those real life pictures and then be valuable with your content, okay? Um, connect with people on a knowledge level, an emotional level, um, information level, like, right? There's so many different ways that you can bring value to your customers and you should kind of be doing a song and dance and hitting multiple um, different ways throughout your week or throughout your month and posting. But just a reminder, yes, to be solution-minded, right? Find those solutions that you can share with your customers, right? And like Tip Tuesday is a really great way to do that. Thrifty Thursday is a really great way to do that. Um, Wax Wednesday, when you're sharing tips about filling up your warmer a certain amount, those are really great ways that we can be solution minded and provide value to our customers. So it's just, again, um, being intentional with the content that you're posting. Okay. Um, and then Brie touched on this a little bit with her theme days, but my last point for you guys is to utilize the programs that Sensi has right here in our catalog. Okay. So we have amazing programs like Sensi Club, the join opportunity, the host opportunity. So don't leave that part out when you're showcasing 
the catalog, okay? Make sure that you are giving the opportunity for people to get those catalog items free and half off. What's really cool about catalog items is 90% of our catalog you can utilize host rewards with. Now we can't with the charitable cause, we can't with the licensed product, we can't with the with box, but everything else you can use free and half off products to get. So um, when highlighting the catalog, it allows you to have the opportunity to also highlight the host opportunity. Um, and then when people are ooing and awing and maybe want to order that warmer, you can then shift it and say, would you be interested in trying to get this free or half off with the Facebook party or with the get together? Or, hey, how about when I deliver your order, I'll drop off a catalog and some testers with the new, with this catalog. Uh, yeah, the catalog and testers, and you can see if any of your coworkers want to order, right? Um, it allows you to have those conversations where we are utilizing those programs that Cincy has, right? Um, on Selling Saturday or on Thrifty Thursday, when you're highlighting, you know, your last batch of host rewards that you got or the early access um, fragrance bar, excuse me, fragrance bars that you got or, um, you know, your favorite warmer that you got, that's the warmer in the starter kit. It's a really great way to talk about those programs that Cincy has where they can become their own consultant. And then same with club, right? Club is really, really great for the always get my bar feature. But again, also getting that whiff box half off, which is not possible just shopping online, okay? But they can get a whiff box half off through Scentsy Club. That's a really valuable thing to share. 10% um, off on their licensed bars, which you cannot get in the catalog. That is a very nice piece of information to share with them, um, especially at transition seasons where we're losing got Camu Camu and Skinny Dippin' and Bonfire Beach, right? The uh, opportunity to be able to club that and get it forever is a really great program for you to be able to share with your customers. And so just being business minded in that sense, when, when you're showcasing things to take it a little bit further, yes, they could purchase from you, but it would actually be better if they put it in a club or if they hosted a party or even if they joined. And those are all options that are available all the time. It's not an LTO that people can join um, or start a club or host a party. It's all the time, always. And it's something that as business owners, we need to really be focusing on because a, a one-time order is amazing. Even a VIP customer is amazing, but we can take that further and either get more customers with the party, get reoccurring easy PRV with Scentsy Club, or get a bomb team member who loves Scentsy on your team, right? Those are all amazing opportunities that we need to be focusing on. And by focusing on the catalog and being informed and providing knowledge and solutions, it's really easy to um, share those and find success there. Okay, guys. So I hope these tips were helpful for you guys um, because sharing this catalog is truly the bread and butter to your business.